Can you imagine replacing an entire data team with a fleet of AI agents? Sounds very exciting, but a bit scary, right? Well, in this video, I'm going to make a task, a hands-on tutorial where I'm going to delegate the typical tasks of a data engineer, data analyst, and data scientist to the crew of AI agents as if they were working on one business request. I've been working hard on this one and uh, the results will surprise you. There are several frameworks for creating AI agent systems. We have a long chain which employs a chain structure or DAG where tasks are executed in a sequence. There is a lang graph which uses a graph structure and support loops and supports visiting the previous states. And if all of those sound exciting but a bit overwhelming, don't worry. I've created a data engineering roadmap that gives you exact skills, tools, and mindset needed to work with data from beginner level to AI tools. Check data engineering roadmap link below. But I'm super excited with what Crew AI is doing at the moment. Just like look at their GitHub stars chart and you can see they're already surpassing Lang graph by kind of like expanding it and adding a very user-friendly syntax sugar on top of that. So briefly, what is the agent and how they collaborate. Agent has several key properties. Role, which defines the specific function of the agent, like real job title. Focus, where you state what the agent is designed to do. Tools, resources it can utilize to perform its tasks like APIs, databases, or analytical tools. Cooperation, how the agent interacts and collaborates with other agents or not. Guardrail, sets the boundaries and constraints. Memory, allows the agent to retain information from past interactions, which is just wow. One important thing is a mental framework. When building a multi-agent system, the best mental framework for agent creation is to think like a manager. Consider the goals you have and the processes you want to implement. And now you're hiring. You assign a person to a job and then define a set of tasks, tools, and collaboration points to achieve the big objective. Agents can collaborate in different ways, like linear, branching, feedback loop, dynamic interaction. But in our case, we'll just stick to a linear collaboration. Now let's get down to business. What problem are we solving? I've tried to mimic a typical business request from the marketing department. How can we identify the most valuable search queries and optimize our SEO strategy? Since we're focusing on organic traffic, we'll need to pull the company's current data from Google Search Console, analyze it, build reports, conduct data analysis, and even develop data science model. For that, I'm going to use Search Console tool from my website with my real data because I'm an influencer and I'm also kind of curious like if I can benefit from the fleet of AI agents. What do you need for this? First one, you need an account in GCP. You can get one with $300 credit for free. Also, you need to connect email from GCP service account into Search Console itself and enable API. You need to have Docker installed and running. And I'm going to use cursor, but the code will be predefined and I will not do white coding only adjusting when needed. So as the step zero, I will configure Airbyte open source tool to quickly pull the data from Google Search Console API and just run it on a daily basis. Because I love Airbyte and it's a very friendly tool for extract load tasks with hundreds of connectors without any integration headache. It's super fast to launch it locally, just go here, follow the tutorial, but essentially I was just like running this command and I was uh, following the steps uh, and make sure that your Docker is up and running. Then I quickly configured it manually as the source. I can choose the Google Search Console, just add your domain. You can, you can specify the start date that you want to pull from. After that, click set up the source. It's gonna test the connection and yes, you have add a new destination. You can choose the Google Cloud Storage. Where is this one? It's here. And uh, you will need these kind of keys, which you can get in your cloud storage itself. Just like go under the settings, interoperability tab and create it. After this, specify your specific bucket name, also created, uh, also created back in the GCP and the bucket pass. Uh, as the output formats, JSON lines. Then just quickly set up the connection. As you can see, I've had one before. Uh, select the source, Google Search Console, select the destination, Google Cloud Storage, and you don't need that all, you just need to select the string which is called Search Analytics by Query. As you can see here, are all the fields that's going to be pulled, you click Next, pick the manual scheduling, and after that you can kick off it to run manually. But yeah, I've been running that before. So yeah, the, here's the buttons. Sync now. Here's our JSON L file. Okay, now let's play with our data crew. 
In cursor, here is the code which I'm gonna share below with you, so don't worry. And as the setup, you need to enable your virtual environment. Uh, don't forget to install all packages. Also, in the end file, you're supposed to set up all the needed credentials. Uh, here is the file to your GCP credentials with the service account. You'll need to provide this because agents are gonna have the access to GCP platform with the help of those keys. Also, make sure that your Docker is running because the code generating tool will require an actual container. Okay, and now let's decouple the code itself. First, we need to import uh, the new components from the Crew AI library, like Agent Task Crew. And as you can see, we're going to be playing only with these two tools, a called Interpreter tool and File Read tool. If we are importing some variables, let's define our first agent, which is the Dict Engineer. And as you remember, you need to be very specific. For optimization reasons, I've added not just a Data Engineer title, but Senior Data Engineer. After that, you're defining the goal, like in general, what this agent is supposed to do, uh, design and implement uh, action data pipelines, a little bit of the backstory. For example, you have a great expertise in GCP, in BigQuery, and etc. As you can see, allow delegation false. It means that this agent will not delegate like piece of its tasks to another agent. Okay, and now comes the most interesting part, is the task. And here's my take on this. I've actually spent a lot of time on defining the task as I've made a mistake assuming that it can be pretty, pretty relaxed. Just like uh, pull the data from the bucket and transform it into suitable for data analysis format. But I ended up with writing literally a step-by-step -step guide like for an intern on what it needs to do. As you can see, I'm explicitly stating which variables you need to pull, tools you need to use, uh, where the credentials are sitting. And after that, like step-by-step, -step, I was stating creating an external table from GCP. I need to pull the data from the JSON-L format. So as you can see, it's pretty strict. But in the end, the expected output is the clean code, structured ones, it should be outputted into data pipeline task, uh, which is going to be used further uh, with the next agent. And the tools are used here is the code interpreter tool, give the opportunity to the agent to write Python SQL and file read tool, which is going to uh, give the opportunity to, let's say, pull the credentials from the end of file and etc. Okay, here comes the next part is the data quality assurance agent. That's how I called it. And the role here is the senior software engineer, but in a nutshell, it's just going to review and check what exactly the senior data engineer did. Check the imports, check the queries, if the variables were pulled in the correct way. And after that important, it's going to execute the script itself. So is the data gonna land in the BigQuery? As you can see, we're not specifying here that the allow delegation is false, which means that it can delegate the tasks. After we ensure that the data is loaded, clean and reviewed, we call data analyst agent. And this one will retrieve the actual insights. So here is the task, analyze query performance from the BigQuery. You need to create a separate view in the same data set with high impression, low CTR queries that represent the potential blah, blah, blah. blah. Here is the expected output, the, the view is created, the explanation on why these queries are used. As you can see, the output file here is the task query performance analysis, and we can move on to the data science agent. So the senior data scientist role is just to run the NLP clustering analysis on top of our data and output the topics found in the NLP clustering analysis. Uh, you've seen this one before and uh, a little bit of the pre-story. I was running all these agents separately, but I haven't kicked off the crew entirely. So it will be the first run now and I'm really thrilled to see if it would actually work together and they would need to pass the information between each other and pull the credentials correctly. Like a good luck here and let's see how it's going to turn out. Yeah, here we are defining our uh, crew, we are passing the agents, we are passing the task. Okay, let's go. Okay, as you can see it started to run and we were defining these parameters as verbose which means we're gonna see what are the steps are performing at the moment. So it all started with the senior data engineer and now the first task is in action. Well, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Three hours later. Oh, as you can see here, we can see some of the code produced. Create data setup not exist. Yeah, that's right. External table query. Yeah, it also looks right. Should be output data pipeline task. Yeah, here it is. Okay, let's wait for the next steps. As you can see here, the status is the completed and now the senior software engineer kicks off. 
And as you know, you're my favorite cookies, so please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Oh my god, it's just like taking ages. How many attempts you're gonna take? Should I go and get some tea? No way, wow, there is something. What is this? Example query? Come on, this is completely wrong. This is just some dummy data. Okay, so apparently the senior data analyst has failed. Now let's check what's gonna happen with the senior data scientist. What is this topic one SEO optimization content strategy? This definitely doesn't look good. Let's go to the task. Okay, let's go and actually check if we do have some data in our tables. This one is supposed to be the external table, right, with the raw data. Correct. And this one is supposed to be final table, normalized query. Amazing. Is there something? Yes. So apparently our data, uh, data analyst agent completed the task, but okay, yeah, I see what's the error. I don't have any kind of queries in my data set which has impressions more than 1000, so it's just gonna return nothing but if we change it just like to 10 oh yes i do have a lot of engineering memes i actually have a page about data data engineering memes so <laughs> in a nutshell it did its job i'm not really satisfied with what the data scientist did but apparently i haven't set it up in a proper way or i should think through it so I actually made a few tweaks and tried using another model, Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental. According to what I've read, Google is winning on every AI front now, even surpassing OpenAI. And honestly, it performed much better. It required fewer attempts, still had a bit of trial and error, the script execution was noticeably faster, and it created the data analyst task view. The logic was still a bit off, but I was genuinely impressed with the data scientist task. It worked. Not perfect, but it handled my real data, clustered it, and even offered some reasonable suggestions. And that's a wrap. This was quite the adventure, right? As we've seen, agents are pretty cool, but they are not quite ready to tackle tasks like on their own. I was really curious to see what they can do, and um, am I gonna use them? Oh, well, it would definitely be in a very strict setup. But for those bigger, more complex tasks, still having a full data crew is essential. So thank you for experimenting with me. I would love to hear your thoughts below, and until next time, stay curious.